<laughs> What's going on, my little gluten-free motherfuckers? All right, listen. Um, just want to put something out there for you. This is this is interesting because a lot of people have this misunderstanding on how this is all going to go down. Like, can it happen? Could it ever be possible? And I'm just like, look. I already said that 2023 is the year that they started the process of implementing XRP hard. They've been doing it for a bit beforehand, but 2022 and 2023 will be where the years where implementation has started because, let's face it, ISO compliancy and the entire blockchain financial industry is here. 2024, when they flip the switch, I'm going to give you an example of what that's like. You, you look at Wells Fargo, Wells, sorry, sorry, no, sorry, it's, uh, Western Union. Western Union became a Ripple client slash partner, if you would, client. So they formed a partnership and they're going to use the ODL or the Ripple payment. Okay, what, what that means is they're going to be using XRP back and forth to move money. Now, hit me on something. They're still going to charge you the same fucking fees to move money, but their cost is going to drop. Because now they don't have to go to like a Morgan or a Citibank and go, hey, we got a transaction. We need you guys to send money over there. Now they can go, we don't fucking need you people. We can do it ourselves. We got the technology. We're plugged in. XRP. Just like MoneyGram, XLM. They don't have to go to the big banks anymore to do these transfers. Now I have a question for you. Did Western Union or MoneyGram call you up and say, hey, can we do this? Is it okay to do this? Fuck no. Let me explain to you something. You know your, your credit cards and your ATM cards? You know that chip that was put on it? Well, that chip was a mandate that all the banks needed to, you know, they put on it. At a certain point, it doesn't matter if you like your card the way it was. They're like, hey, we deleted it. We're sending you a new card in the mail. It, it's not up to us. They do it based on their mandates. They have their ISO compliance mandates to start using the coins. XRP, XLM, Algo, uh, Quant, it doesn't matter. They're all going to be in use. That's why we're going to have a bump up. When I told you the other day that XRP, sorry, Ripple has 300 banks implementing the Ripple payment technology in order to start using it. And the fact that the IMF and the BIS, Bank of International Settlements, are also going to be using it, but they haven't yet. When that switch turns on, they're not going to be like, hi... I just want to let you know that, you know, like this week, we're going to turn the switch on and we're going to start using this. So, yeah, mm -hmm, we're going to be going live. We're going to be sending money. Yeah, they're not going to fucking do that. They're just going to do what they're going to do. They, you, you need to understand. They got to implement it, then do it. Like, for example, when I went through the whole court system, second I, second I showed up, listen, the cage, the, the extradition, MCC, the craziness, the guy I choked out in the cell, the everything. At the end of the day, when I finally went to say, oh, you're the agent? You're the one that did this to me? Okay. And they were like, um, what, so how long you be, you've been uh, on the run? I'm like, on the run? What are you talking about? I live overseas. No, you don't. You were on the run. And I was like, uh, when did this crime happen? They are like, in 2016. I'm like, where did it happen? Like, Manhattan. I'm like, you know I haven't been in America since 2011, 2012? That's not possible. <laughs> Federal agent Garcia. That's not possible. That was her fucking voice. And then she's like freaking out. She's like, she takes out a piece of paper. Do you know who this person is? She shows me the picture of the guy at the bank doing the fugazi with some checks. And I'm like, I don't know. But that thing's right down the bottom. That timestamp says 2016 and I wasn't even in the country. But guess what? They wanted to protect themselves and they all had a little conference. And at the end of the day, wink, wink, nod, nod. And I knew I was going to get fucked over and I had to go through the ride. Guess what? Same thing goes with the banks. The banks around the world, they got their mandates. And the banks are dealing with regulators. And that's the government. So the Middle East, did they call you up and tell you they're going to flip the switch? Or when? No. Did they tell you they're going to start only doing oil transactions non-dollar? No. But they're doing all this stuff now. That's why I'm telling you. These coins, XRP, XLM, Quant... XCC, they're all going to have their time frame, but the reason why, as the Caribbean, when they turn around and basically say that they'll 
take scrap metals and stuff like that. That always happens in Latin America. Yeah. You think you're having a fucking financial hardship? Try fucking picking up scrap metal for a living. Listen. What I'm trying to tell you is, with XRP, just the 300 banks utilizing it in order to move money on a daily basis, and the Bank of International Settlement, and the IMF, and you know Western Union, and the, the entire nation of Japan switching over, when, when this happens in 2024, 2025, you think we're going to be 60, 61 cents? Fuck no. But they're not going to tell you, oh, it's happening next Thursday. It's happening already, people. There's no way around it. There's no way around it. So you, you, the money's going to be made. I don't even, I don't, I don't, I have no doubt in my fucking mind. This is, this is not the stock market. Okay. This is how it is. It's like when Toyota makes the 2025, whatever the fuck, they know they're going to sell it. Okay. They don't know the numbers or whatever, the hottest markets. They don't know whatever, the best colors, but they know they're going to sell cars. Okay? That's just how it is. So understand, when the flip of the switch happens, they're not going to call you up. It's just going to happen. And then it's going to be live. Like, oh, shit, here we go. Here we go. Just like that. So relax, motherfuckers. This is the good times. This is the this is the cheap coin time. I saw the the hit is like, oh no, it's just sixty cents. <laughs> so is your mother. You should see her fucking discounted rates on the weekend. Anyway, giant love, more videos to come.